Hello, my name is Sjoerd de Vries and in this tutorial I'm in the role of a SME, a subject matter expert or key user and I received an email notification to record a task in a tool like the Rapid Recorder. And then you select the second link, it's starting the task. You can always download the task, it's just a single file, um, but it's easier just clicking on it and when you click on it it will ask you what you have to do you open it or save it i will open it directly and it will start the you perform rapid recorder um, first thing is to set a due date the due date is set by the administrator but you can always change it maybe you need two weeks and what you can also uh, do is to enable online uh, on-screen help. So actually it explains you all the features on the screen. Whenever you're ready, you click on record to start recording. Um, however, it's important that you uh, make sure your application is ready. So when the application is ready to record in the correct resolution, um, in this example, I use a resolution of 1280 pixels uh, by 1024. It's an optimal resolution. Uh, do not record on very high resolutions and also discuss this with the Uperform author. Uh, when you're ready to record, it is opening the recorder. And the recorder window will be a small pop-up. Also here you can have some uh, online help mode. So you can see here, you can use uh, audio for example, or you can insert notes. Uh, take note that, uh, that, uh, that if you want to insert a note, it always must be before the step, I will show you in this tutorial how to do that. Uh, key part is that this window stays just open. It's paused by, it's initially paused and clicking on the recording will start a recording. If you use audio then it will also record your voice and else it will only be triggered by a click action, right click action, typing in something or pressing a key. So it will not be triggered by moving the mouse around. Um, unwanted screens like this will also pop up. It's not a big issue because it can be polished away very easily. Um, for example by you, just by the undo button. But be very careful of that. It might be easier if a Uperform author do that afterwards. If you delete too much scenes, it's very hard for the Uperform author to manage your content. So sometimes it's easier just to display everything and you can also redo it. Okay, let's start this. Um, usually I click in the application first, just to be sure. And I perform the first steps. And if I want to explain something about the next step, I click on this icon and it will show me here a note. And then I click on the thing I want to explain, for example, my channels. So the note will be attached to that click. Um, I just explain the functionality uh, with the voice on or with the uh, tips <coughs> and when I'm done let's have some when, I've, when I'm done, when I'm finished I just click on stop and it will ask me to check it in directly or at a later time. It's very important to understand that if you click on yes 
uh, it will check it indirectly and you cannot proceed with the task. So let's assume the task is not finished yet. I click just no. And I just close the screen and maybe another day. You come back to the Ansali you perform recorder then you have to start it from your start menu you open the tutorial and you click on record it will automatically recognize you where uh, you were so you can restart it to do it again so start from scratch or resume it so i do not have to forget to record it and now it's done correctly I can tell something with a note and if I just want to explain something and I don't want to click, I just click in the application. Okay, um, I recorded a little bit too much, but that's for the Uperform author. So I just click stop and I will show you how to check it in. Anyway, um, you can click in the check in button if you click no or you click yes again. So you can always check it in. And when you check it in, your task disappears. And this ends our tutorial. Thank you for your attendance.